In this video, the leader of the Niger Delta militant, Asar Dakobo, has claimed that he is a killer squad and a professional in killing business. Now you may recall that a few weeks ago, Asar Dakobo was captured with unknown gunmen. These are not militants. They are new breeds of killer squad. In this video, Asar Dakobo claimed that the men that he is building are from Ijo and Fulani Hesmen. The reason behind the security outfit that Asa Dokobo is As using Dokubo is claimed to know. be the killer squad. When Amatoku and he said it has he is a professional and one of them on killing it Fulani Hesmen who are destroying crops. Pay attention. You will when listen to the news network was launched. In detail. They have the same initiative with Amotokun. In this video, Asar Dokobo clearly stated that his group will fight terrorism. The question that remains paramount is, is Asar Dokobo above the law? We have army, we have DSS, we have police, we have other security outfits in Nigeria. I hope you are listening. specifically trained to combat terrorism. You may recall that True Talk last week reported that Asar Dokobo was responsible in the attack that happened at Izombe in Imo State. After they killed and raised shops and destroyed properties in Izombe, they were shouting a slogan which is properly known as Asawana Asawana. Why is government Are you getting the point? On the impunity and atrocity. Now I want you all to pay attention. Definitely. This security so that you will understand the reason why and it does not well Kubo created the this well of terrorist Take killing their look. own people. Now pay attention. Very critical time. A time when some people have taken it upon themselves to inflict pain. <laughs> To draw out tears from the eyes of other people. To make husband widowers. To make wives widows. To make parents childless. To make children orphans. To snatch away breadwinners from all families. These are times that when you go out, you are not sure that you are coming back home. Some men have arrogated to themselves the power of all right, great people. All right, freedom fighters. Lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. I hope every one of you heard it right. I hope every one of you get the point. I hope you get it right. Because we always bring reality to our people. Great people of Biafra Freedom Fighters, lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media, under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okukano, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazo Kenna Okechuku, known as the Biafra Child in Wachineke. The General. I want you all to understand that Asari Dokubo admitted that he is a killer squad and he is also a professional on killings business. Now you begin to understand what we are talking about. I want you people to understand that all these things that we have been saying, that Asari Dokubo is working with the full Ani Alama jury, and I hope every one of you listening to the reporter, I hope you pay attention to the reporter. 
I hope every one of you heard what the reporter said from his mouth. That Asari the Kubo, he is a killer squad and he is also a professional on killings business. But I want you people to understand this. You know, we have been saying this time with that number. Mazishina Samuro have came on his broadcast and said that Asari is sending people from coastal region of Biafra down to hinterland to go and kill their own brothers. When we were saying all these things, some people uh, think that we are just joking, that we just hate on this idiot called Asari Dokubo. A madman for that matter. A man that, you know, have destroyed where he came from. A man that have taken amnesty. A man that have stolen from his own people, each other. And today he's parading himself as a killer squad. And he is a professional on killing business. But I want you people to listen to this news in detail. So that whenever you see some people killing in Imo State, I want you to know that Asari Dokubo is working with hope. Those are them. They are those people that are killing our people in Imo State. Now you begin to understand it. According to the report, Asari Dokubo was captured. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Asari Dokubo was captured with unknown gunmen. They are not what? They are not those people that Asari Dokubo is parading. Militant. These people are not militant. These people are uh, unknown gunmen where Asari Dokubo is parading them. And the Asari Dokubo said that he's building this, his killer squad, an unknown gunman with Ijo people and some Fulanis. He said Ijo and Fulanis. This is the people that Asari Dokubo is working with. You know, whenever we are telling our people that Asari Dokubo don't want Biafra to come. Asari Dokubo just want to be the emir of the old eastern region of Biafra. That is exactly what he promised Asari Dokubo. And if you people haven't forgotten the reason why Asari Dokubo become a Muslim, I will tell you people, Asari Dokubo turned to a Muslim because of power, because he believes and he knows that the Fulani have been taking over that contraption called Daminibu for years ago. And we have been lamenting up to this. Some people don't even seem to understand what we are talking about. Asari Dokubo went to Izombe. Asari Dokubo with his killer squad, unknown gunmen. This time around, there are no more militants. Because he said that he is a professional on killing business. Asari Dokubo led people from a job. And Fulani people down to his own bay in Nemo State after they kill main village hideous crime to our people. And you people listening the reason why Asari was doing all this. I want you people to understand that you see, we are fighting different phases of war. I want you people to understand that that we are fighting different phases of war. You don't even know that somebody that you are living in the same house is your enemy. You don't even know that somebody that is feeding you is your enemy. I want you people to understand this and that I will keep on lamenting. And I will keep on telling our people the reality. That you see all the things that we are doing. We want to assure them, we are assuring them that Biafra must come. There is nothing they can do about it. That is the reason why I always keep on telling my people to buckle their belt and embark on the journey that we are. And I'm still telling our people in the hinterland of Biafra, this is my message to you all, our brothers and sisters in Biafra land. And also our brothers from coastal region going down to the hinterland of Biafra to kill their own people. I want to give you people an advice from coastal region first before I move to hinterland. Those people they are going to kill. 
I want you to know, as a brother from coastal region of Biafra, going hinterland to kill your own brother, I want you to know that whosoever that kills his own brother is not a mighty person. It's not a mighty. It's not a powerful. Who left his own place to go and kill his own brother is not a, it's not a mighty. It's not a powerful. And again, advice to our brothers in hinterland of Biafra. Don't even allow them to go scot free. As they are stepping their foot into hinterland, make sure you deal with them. Make sure they go home empty handed. Make sure they come with a box. Make sure they come back and carry bags. I want you people to understand. We can never fold our hands and begin to look our brothers killing our own brothers. And you see, and the, you people couldn't say anything. Or you are seeing it sheepishly, don't even want to condemn the atrocity of Asari Dokubo. But we are here. Asari Dokubo, you can do your worst. And you see, you people have seen people that Asari Dokubo have paraded himself. He have already fixed them. They are Ijo people. And the Fulani people together, that is the minutia of Asari Dokubo, which is the killer squad, because he claimed that he is a professional on killings business. This is what I bring to you all today for you people to know that Asari Dokubo says the reason why he created all these things because he wants to keep on killing our people. We see Asari Dokubo parading himself with unknown gunmen. You see all of them. This is what I bring to you all today to understand that the reason I'm doing this quick video right now is for you all to know that we are fighting different faces of war. We are fighting different faces of war. Good day and welcome.